Sicilian Defense, Open, Skeven Engine, Classical Variation, 6, a 6-7.B3. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had a nice end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. When black eventually plays nf6, white is prevented from moving the piece to e5 by the opening of the light squared bishop on d6. d4 offers to trade the d-pawn for the c-pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. cxd4 provides black two key pawns while giving white only one. NXD4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. NF6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended E4 pawn. NC3 defends the E4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. A6 prepares the queen side pawn advance B7-B5, and also prevents white from playing the bishop or knight to B5. B3 supports the strong D4 knight in the center. E6 controls the d5 and f5 squares and allows the dark squared bishop to develop to e7. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. The pawn is now adequately defended. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is the final book action. This blows the chance to build a queen off the beginning square. It is incorrect. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. It's alright. That's good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is quite good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. That is good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This overlooks an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. This permits the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This exchange is fair. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. This ignores a more effective technique to reclaim a piece. It is incorrect. Recaptures. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. It's alright. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. It's alright. That's good. On the file. The rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. That's good. This misses an opportunity to double rooks on a single file. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is a mistake. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. This accomplishes this by posing a threat to a rook and compelling it to flee. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. 
It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. A wise decision. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is quite good. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. It is good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This places a rook on the 7th rank, activating it and putting the other side's king under pressure. It is quite good. This prevents an assault on a rook that might have been taken. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. Black is equal at this point in the endgame. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to remove the king from the rear rank and activate it. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to move the king out of the rear rank and activate it. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. It is a miss. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. It is ideal. Right on target. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had a nice end game.